Computer Generated Chess Problem 2769 by Chestetica. White has a queen, rook, and knight. Black has a queen, a rook, and two knights. Now, the most obvious thing here is that Black's queen on d8 is actually in a position to be captured by either the rook or the queen. Let's see what happens if the queen captures queen. Seems like a good move. Black might respond with rook to f3 check, king to d4, rook to f4 check, king to e5. If here knight to f7 check, well then king captures rook. If knight captures queen, king to f3, and mate cannot be prevented. Rook to d1 mate. So knight captures rook, queen captures knight, king to f2, and white will go on to win this game. So at this point, maybe knight to c6 check, sacrificing the knight, rook captures knight, and now knight to f7 check, same as before, king captures rook, knight captures queen, but you see now the rook cannot force mate on d1 just yet, so rook to d6, knight to b7, and black can stretch this quite a bit further. What about rook captures queen? Well then, as before, rook to f3 check, king to d4 discovered check, okay, that seems to be helpful, but king to f2, knight to d1 check, king to f1, queen captures knight, maybe rook to d3 check, again, the rook is defended by the knight, in giving check to the king, king to e4. This is why it's good to keep your king away from the center of the board because it exposes it to so many possibilities of being checked. Rook captures rook, queen captures rook, and black is going to go on to lose this game as well. That's going to take a few more moves. All right. Okay, we'll take a close look at this position. There's actually a much better way to win this and more quickly too. Still can't see it? That's all right. Let me show you. So instead of checkmating in more than 10 moves, why not checkmate in just 3? Forget about capturing the black queen. Rook to d1 check. Wow, look at that. Now, the king can't capture the rook because it's defended by the knight. So the queen has to capture it. A rook sacrifice. Now you might think knight captures queen. But no, the rook in moving away from d6 opened the diagonal for the queen to capture the knight. Which is what is needed here. Queen captures knight with check. Queen to d2 intervenes with a cross check. Queen captures queen is mid. The rook on f1 blocks the king's flight square. How amazing is that? I hope you enjoyed this one. I know I did. Chesthetica's Book of Chess Constructs Volumes 1 through 5. Available on Amazon.